Welcome back to the chaos. So it's a big day for Slam's 2016 Ducati Scrambler. So we haven't, I feel bad, we feel like feel like we've neglected the bike for a while because it's been a hot minute since we've actually done any mods to it. But today that changes. It's going under the knife for a big change actually. One of the biggest ones. So we're doing a color change. So we've hooked up with a local rap guy. Um, it's North Carolina Rap Masters. I'm gonna drop the bike off with him today. So the next time we see it, no more yellow. So that whole combo of the lemon lime, me with the green bike, her with the yellow bike, lemon lime combo, which nobody calls it that, literally nobody. But <laughs> that'll be the last time we see that together. So I hate I'm not able to ride with her today, but I don't envy her because it's freezing cold. I think it's about 40 degrees today. So I don't envy that, but I'm excited to drop the bike off and see what it looks like afterwards. So she's 100% on her own, picked out the colors that she wanted. So I have not seen this particular combo together. So I'm interested to see that. So pretty excited. Should be a whole different bike. It feels like it's been a bit of neglect on her bike because we haven't done anything in such a long period of time. But what we're actually gonna do, so everything yellow on the bike, the tank itself, as well as the rear fender is going under a color change. So, and we actually got kind of a, a neat little surprise for this, this tank insert. But every bit of yellow on this motorcycle will be gone. So with the changes to come, it should blend more with the, the mods she's done so far. Pulling away from the house, last time on that yellow bike, and we got our little passenger helping us out today. Now that we got the bike home, uh, we're gonna try to fix up some of the imperfections or where you can still see like the yellow stock color on the bike bleeding through. So we've actually went and picked up some of this, it's just like this edge trim. So it's like this rubber, it's just got like a U channel. And we're gonna try to run it, the idea is to run it along like the tip of the, um, like the tank panel, tank panel, and cover up this yellow. So the idea, is to fill this gap so that way you won't see any yellow at all so we should just be able to start at one edge and go all the way around with that basically it's like a kind of like a seam sealer but it's just this rubber piece that should fit right on that on that groove and go all the way around so the idea is we're going to start kind of on this edge down here at the bottom and it's literally just like a u channel so we're going to follow it all the way along the edge of the this tank pad Give you an idea of what we we're trying to accomplish so if you notice here on the left side there's this gap and that's where you can see the yellow in between the tank panel and the tank itself so we're just trying to fill that gap so then now on the right side you can see if you just get just the right angle in there i don't even know if you can see it on camera but you can't see it just a touch but obviously looking through the lens right now yellow not yellow so you can see what we were talking about. So we just took that, that molding and started at the corner down here and it did very well all the way around. And then you could tell we were struggling. It's really tight between like this, the bottom edge right here and the tank panel. So it's a little wonky and there's like a little gapping, which I knew that was gonna be the case, but I think that's kind of hard to avoid but it gives a little dimension too. So we're gonna take what we learned from the other side and we're gonna take that same um, weather stripping, heat it up this go round, and that way hopefully it's a little more malleable and that way we can get it in place easier.
here we have the finished product. So that we've got it back from the wrap shop and then we've put our little custom touches on there. So that way you're less likely to see the yellow original color between the tank and this panel. It actually kind of gives it like a, I don't know, different little dimension right here. Give it some depth to break up the two. But overall, I think it's looking really sinister. It's definitely a huge change up from the yellow. But she opted for the satin black on the tank and then this metallic black, like the brushed aluminum look on the tank panel. It's a whole different characteristic of bike now. So it completely, completely 180 from the yellow that it was. So although I will miss and ride around with like the lemon and lime look, <laughs> um, this I agree is way, way more sinister. Kind of has that Punisher look to it. We appreciate you all watching. Continue to follow along, see what we do to the bike next. Plus, we've got a million other projects going on too. So if you will, please like and subscribe. It helps out. Thank you so much. Catch you in the next one.